Okay, here's another subtopic, method of purification or separation. So usually about uh, five to seven marks in your exam. Um, it's actually quite easy. If you understand, you do not need to memorize this subtopic. So uh, how do you separate stuff? So the most common is number one, filtration. So filtration is when they want to separate a mixture of chalk and water or sand and water so if you have water and then you have sand in it so how do you separate it or purify it you just pour it in okay so the water will be here and then the sand or the chalk will be here okay so uh easy as that okay so from a uh, solid and liquid you can separate it Next is crystallization. So crystallization, very common. You see in the question, they said uh, you want to produce uh, crystals from copper sulfate or from KCL, so potassium chloride. Okay, so what happens is that um, we have a liquid of uh, CuSO4. Okay, so you want to crystallize it. So how it works, you will most probably need to heat it up. So once you heat it up, so some of the uh, water will fly off and then you have a concentrated CuSO4. So the keyword here is you leave it to cool, okay? Left to cool at room temperature, okay? So if you leave it to cool at room temperature, just for a while, the temperature drop a bit, the temperature drop a bit, then you can see that the crystals we will form okay of course there are a bit of crystals and then a bit of water so you, of course you need to filter it so this is when there's left to cool a small drop and it forms crystals ah, then you see it's crystallization very common just remember whenever you see CSO4 and KCL uh, they want to produce crystal of it use the way uh, crystallization okay next so then they ask of course how to differentiate evaporation and crystallization so evaporation in this case is that um, for example salt from seawater so for this kind you need to heat up a bit more so let's say seawater right seawater you just leave it there for a while it will not become salt or crystal by itself so in this case you need to use evaporation so you need to heat it up stronger heat it up heat it up until it is dry okay now until it is almost dry and then the uh, salt will be formed so this is how we get our kitchen salt last time okay raw salt uh, before they process and become kitchen salt so salt from seawater or they would like to say crystals from zinc so4 the most common is salt from seawater okay you heat up intense so here um Okay, and then before we continue, when you heat up, a lot of the water will leave and then you have the salt here. Okay, now diffusion. Uh, if uh, Very funny is that you do not find in the uh, textbook, but then they like to put in the question. So diffusion is to separate different kind of gases. Okay, uh, only for gas. Diffuse. Okay, so for example, helium and argon so if you let it diffuse of course this will go faster and then argon will go slower okay so that's how you can collect this and collect this so just remember diffusion is only for gas so uh, when you look at the question once you see different type of gases you use diffusion to separate the mixture okay so this is actually very useful so if you if you want to revise and prepare for exam please remember the things on the right hand side okay next then you have simple distillation so this is the diagram just now so simple distillation is to get liquid from an aqueous solution okay like water from seawater water from copper sulfate water from mgso4 so what do you mean by this so you want to get the water here so you pour in for example this example here water from aqueous magnesium sulfate so we pour in the Magnesium, aqueous magnesium sulfate here yeah. aqueous okay mg so4 okay so then we seal it up okay and we heat it up okay so once we heat it up so 
water will weigh price okay weigh price and the mgso4 will stay here okay so water with price and then it comes here so it flows in as a vapor so when it's a vapor like we discussed previously this is a condenser water go in and out so this will cool it okay condenser is to cool once it is cool it will condense and then the water will form here and drip 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 and then you get water okay so specifically whenever you say you want to get water from some salt solution water from some salt solution use simple dissertation you see simple there's no thermometer you just pour it in okay and then the number six let's recycle a bit from the previous video here okay please subscribe so uh, fractional distillation you can see uh, a bit more apparatus in this thing so how it works it is always liquid with different boiling points okay so very common in the exam you see hexane octane these are liquids okay then the uh, oxygen from liquid air or even petroleum so what is uh, happening here is that if you can pour this mixture of hexane and octane here okay you pour it in here liquid and then you heat it up of course this must be sealed to prevent it from escaping okay so then it goes in and then because they have different boiling point okay observe for fractional distillation there's a thermometer for simple distillation there's no thermometer okay so because they have different boiling point so hexane will come up first okay hexane and then it comes here we have seal this off okay hexane will come here and then once again make sure you understand water goes in and then waters out here so because this will be filled with water to condense it so once again hexane will boil and then comes to here vaporize and then we'll collect hexane okay and then you heat up a bit more then octane will come boil vaporize and then it comes out octane so that's fractional distillation why do we have a thermometer so that we know oh at this temperature we have hexane at another temperature we have octane okay uh, so here liquids different boiling point so these are the common chemicals they use so the last one last one number seven okay chromatography so chromatography very simple you learned this in the previous video so it's always to find the number of colors okay very popular amino acids to determine what type of amino acids is in our sample or in, and also glucose okay so if you like this video please like please subscribe and share thank you